Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to look at a four axis uh, router. Uh, typically when you think of a, a rotary axis on a router, you think of like a spindle for making table legs and uh, you know, kind of like having a lathe attached to the router. In this example, we have a, a little different configuration where the rotation is in the head of the router. Now, this is a sample file that I had created for version 25, but just kind of to review, the rotation uh, is on the head here. And you see we have a full machine um, uh, kitematics. I don't, you know, again, I, mainly I threw the models together uh, and defined the machine. so we can sh show some of the rotary movement in the head. Um, you know, when we look at our, our setup here, we basically have two products that you could use with this type of machine. You could use our four axis standard or our four axis pro. Our four axis standard would allow you to index to different faces that are in the increment of the rotation and, and cut normal to those faces. And the four axis pro will give you uh, simultaneous cutting, okay? so. You know, I have I have my table, I have my part, I have an index system. In, in my cam tree over here, you know, I have an index system, I have a face, an advanced rough, and then a multi-axis routine. That's uh, on the top uh, top of the part. Uh, then I index to, I have two 45s, and I just face off those 45s. So just uh, showing some of the functionality that's there. When we look at uh, some of our options in our um, simulation software, You'll have your operation list here. Uh, oops, let me get this back over here. Your operation uh, list here, and then this will show out all the different operations, and you can jump through them. Okay. Now you can display your toolpath, or you can turn your toolpath off. Um, I'm going to slow this down and, and run this through. And again, the first operation, what I do is I just face off the part. Okay. So I'm just going back and forth and and facing off the part. You know, the, the next thing that I do is I do a, a 3D roughing. I, I basically, if I pause this for a second, I can turn off my stock and turn on my model. And uh, this gives you an idea of what the part is. I, I drew a, a structure, like a fixture to hold it from the bottom, so that's kind of poking through there. But I have some 45s on the side, and then I have a, a radius in the center. Uh, you could cut it with three axes, but... Uh, you know, again, I'm just trying to exemplify some of the features uh, that you could apply with the, the uh, a four-axis router like this. So let me turn that back off and play this through some more. So we're just doing some 3D roughing that's going to rough out this cavity. I'm going to just jump ahead to the next facing routine. Uh, it kind of went a little quick, um, but we did two indexes for the face. Let's kind of rewind this. We're going to just slow the speed down a little bit. We'll jump ahead to this section here. So now you can see how, you know, we have the head on an angle and uh, we're just going to come in here and face off that side and then we're going to come in and face off the next side, okay? So uh, that's your positioning. This is where you're you're using your, uh, your four axis simultaneous. You're going to see how we're staying normal to the surface the whole time. And then in this example, I'm going to start in the center and then I'm going to um, work my way to the outside. So you can see what's going on there as far as the way that that is being dealt with. So pretty nice stuff. If I kind of close this up here and then I uh, post out the code, uh, let me grab a different uh, post processor. You have a, a bunch of um, you have a bunch of options when you get into posting that has to do with uh, the way that the code is generated. Uh, the post processors are pretty easy to generate. Here we can see our rotation, our work offset. You know, we have some clamping codes and unclamping codes. You know, again, we can see we're at zero. This is the roughing routine. There's quite a bit of that. Um, here we have our facing routine, so we kind of face at that negative 45. Uh, now we're going to jump, so we did facing on both sides, and then now we're going to jump back to zero, and here what you're going to see is, you know, we're running inverse time and we're posting in X, Z, and A in order to cut this dome shape, and, and that should jump along because it, com it comes in, in then, uh, 
uh, it starts cutting on the flat as well. There should be some Y movements in here too to, to index to the next face. Z up. Okay, and then it moves over in Y, and then we're cutting in the next uh, next direction. So, you know, when you get in here, like, uh, let me go to this multi-axis feature. Uh, let's edit this. You do have a uh, multi-axis posting page, so you have some options. Uh, you know, whether you're working with the limits and interpolation factors and retract positions and all, all kinds of settings that, uh, you know, once configured properly for your machine or, or you have the ability to adjust for different machines that you might be using. So just a short introduction for uh, four axis router heads and, and some of the features that we have in the software and how you can use them. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments or feedback, please reply back to the thread or uh, the Facebook page or YouTube and subscribe to me. Thank you so much, guys.